All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an example of rhetorical analysis of Groucho Marx's letter to Warner Brothers, which you all are either reading or have read this weekend. As we continue to learn how to properly analyze rhetoric, it is essential to our process that we are able to see exemplars that continue to guide our thinking and our analysis process. We will specifically be looking to identify the exemplar's thesis statement, the use of textual evidence in the analysis, why it is important to show the effects of Groucho's style, and how it accomplishes his purpose. Finally, the restatement of the thesis in the conclusion. First, the author identifies the thesis statement as rather than take Warner Brothers on directly, Groucho Marx jabs and faints, humorously of course, until the Warner Brothers couldn't possibly take its own claim seriously. One thing to notice here is that the author is setting up a frame argument with the allusion to a boxing match. He then continues on laying out his first claim that Marx opens the letter with an intentional misunderstanding, the first way he highlights the absurdity of Warner Brothers' threat of legal action. This is supported with short, targeted quotes. Right? He uses these here and here. He then leads into uh, the introduction of Groucho's first device of imagery, stating that it conjures up scenes from the lavish epics of early Hollywood, casting Warner as Moses in Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. The author then moves quickly to his next claim, that Marx creates a sense of familiarity, which serves his purpose by reminding his audience, Warner Brothers, and their legal team that they are all in the same boat. In this paragraph, he does not explicitly state it, but he appeals to logos through the use of short, targeted quotes that do not overwhelm the reader and effectively support his argument, right? So he's talking about the, the different types of brothers in his evidence here. As the author moves into the final two paragraphs of his analysis, he mentioned Groucho's use of repetition um, to mock the, the Warner Brothers law team. And he calls them fine fellows with curly black hair, double-breasted suits, and a love of their fellow man, a formulation he uses twice, the repetition, the second time slightly truncated and ending in etc. Different from the other paragraphs, the author chooses to use longer pieces of evidence to support his arguments, as you guys can notice here. Finally, Groucho begins his conclusion by restating his thesis in the first sentence of the conclusion, uh, but in a way that maintains the audience's focus, you know, putting a fresh look on his new conclusion here, or his new thesis. All the while bringing it close to his larger frame argument of comparing Groucho's letter to a boxing match. In summary, the author accomplishes his purpose through the clever use of a framed argument supported by short, targeted text evidence. He identifies the use of imagery, repetition, and logos within Groucho's style. Um, it's also important to notice that Groucho's style was satirical, the purpose of which is to create publicity for the Marxist Brothers' upcoming film. And then additionally, Groucho is exploiting the stuffiness of big corporations and their law teams. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, we'll see you on Monday, or don't hesitate to email any one of us. Thanks.